right, I'm going to work with this lovely Christmas rose hellebore die and stamp set. I think it's great and it produces lovely flowers. I like the fact that all the petals are together so you don't have to fiddle around cutting loads of them. And you get the centrepiece, two centrepieces and the leaf. And then that's a little bud piece as well. I'll have that as well. Okay. And the packaging is great because you get instructions of how to put the flower together. I would laminate this. Yes, definitely keep, it, keep it. Yes, yeah, that's really useful as well. And the sort of colours inspiration as well on there. Okay, so I'm going to cut these out of 190 GSM watercolour card. Okay, so I'm going to run those through the machine. You won't, I won't let you see me do that, but they do cut well. And then I'm going to give them a little bit of colour, simply. So I've got some Victorian velvet. I'm just going to put a little bit on my mat and just what I do is I just put some clean water all over the petals. OK, there's some small ones and big ones. So you use all the ones that come come in the set. You will use all of those and then just pick up some of the ink and just smoosh it around the, the base of the petal and then just let it sort of blend out. So I'm not colouring it all but just put a pop of colour, because I want it to look like a hellebore, actually, rather than a Christmas rose, which are white and green in the middle. I kind of would like it to look like a classic hellebore. So do that with all the petals, and then with the leaves, do a similar thing, but I've got some twisted citron. I'm using the ink as well, because I just think it's um, a brighter, looser colour. I just love painting with these inks, actually. And then I've got a mowed lawn to put a touch down at the bottom just to make it darker. I might bring some of that twisted citron up. So paint all the Blame. leaves like that. You get two sorts of leaves, they're the same, this one. So that one, and then you get this one as well. And remember, if you don't think, oh, what's that? I can't remember what I cut out. Uh, it's all on the back of the packet. Everything's on the back of the packet for you, so you know what you're doing. And then the centre pieces. So with this, the stamen one, I am putting a pop of colour just in the middle. Oh, have I got some glue on that one? Look at that! <laughs> What's happening here? The paint, the ink's not soaking in. Look, it's got little beads on the top. Oh. What's I, must have, I must have touched it with some, some glue or something. It's like two beady eyes. So I don't know what's happened to that one, but it should soak into the watercolour card. And then with this one, I'm just going to colour it all bright green. And then you've got this element as well, which is like a bud. So again, just put some green on this one. Sort of paler green. And then the little bud petal area. I'm just going to show that a little bit of the Victorian velvet as well. Oh, right, okay. So once you've done all that, then you can start stamping them. So I'm just going to swipe these to one side and bringing my dry set in that I've previously So we cut done. colour then stamp. We don't stamp, we don't stamp cut colour. Is there a special way of doing this? Well, no, you can experiment, but just for th this purpose, and I, I just thought this is the look I want, because I'm now going to stamp, uh, you've got veins and patterns. Okay. Veins for the leaves and patterns for the petals. So I kind of want the background. This is like the background for the petal. And now I want to stamp detail on it. So I do kind of want to colour first and stamp over the top. So with this one, I'm actually going to bring in my oxides because um, they've got that um, pigment sort of in them, which uh, is good for stamping over the top of other colours. It won't, it's not tra as translucent as the inks. So I've picked a light colour because I don't want it too sort of showy. I just want a delicate look. And I like this warm lipstick colour. So just simply stamp over the top of your dried colour. It's quite quick to do. And then the same stamp goes on the smaller petals as well like that. It gives you that sort of mockled look. Yes, which, which are, you know, the hellebores do have that, don't they? 
And then this is quite clever because you get you've got the veins one slightly going one way and one the other way. So I'm just going to take that one off. And then for this one, I'm going to use another paler colour, green obviously, shabby shutters. So let's get the right one. So that's the wrong one. It's not going to match. Oh, this is the right way and wrong yes, way. Yes, there is. Yeah. So one leaf leans over to the right, so I want the veins to lean over to the right as well. And I just think that's quite a nice effect. It's subtle. That's what I want. I don't want like a dark green vein. I want like it to me, sort of so blend in. A bit like me. <laughs> subtle. <laughs> what, with those tassels? <laughs> <You didn't... laughs> uh, right. So Stuck with you, that, isn't it? I know, I've got this. No, I won't say. <laughs> no, don't. Don't. We'll get taken off the telly. <laughs> don't say. I push I'm me luck as it focus is. Focus on my demo here. It's, you know, it's lovely. I love this. I like. I like this fact of you can build a flower. You haven't got to be. You haven't got to be the best painter. You haven't got to be the best artist with this That's one because right. you break it all down. And every flower is different. Correct. Which is what I like. It's just these little processes that don't take long. That's right. And now I can glue them together. Just like the packaging says, if I bring that back in. So with the big petals, you get two sets. So that's that one, that one, and a single. Mm -hmm. So you just pick one double up, put a blob of glue in the middle, and then just... Literally follow. Just put it on there, well, and then you get already. a gap. You get a gap, so that's the gap is just then to put the single petal in. And it's quite nice because they sort of turn different ways. They overlap each other. Y yes, nice. yeah. And then to hide that piece in the middle, then you can put your stamen piece in, or first of all, you need that bright green. See, this is where I think the tassels would there. come into play here, yeah. Tassels come into play here. I, so, so I think if you wanted to change the look of the flower, Ooh. you could put your little tassels in the middle to give it sort of like a trumpet. Like a daffodil sort of effect. Yeah, if you cut the the, um, the fronds down. Yeah, if you cut yes, them down, yeah. And, yeah. and bend them, yeah. It's going to give brilliant. you a totally different yes. look at a flower. Yes, good idea. <laughs> That's two I've had this hour. <laughs> That's Scotch egg I had before I come yeah. on. I'm just going to give them a little bit of a pinch in my fingers just to oh, look at that. give so, them oh, like a bit that. of life. And would this okay. work with the foams that we do, the flower foams? And could we use these dyes with those? It's cut foam, yes, yeah, yeah and felt, yes. Oh, you could cut other well. mediums with them, yes, that's, that's fine. Okay, so I've already done two of those. Let's shove that to one side. That's it, and I've already put the little bud pieces together. I've got my leaves. All right, and let's put, let's make the card base now. All right, I just want to wipe that ink away because. I just don't want to contaminate anything with that. Okay, and now I'm going to use this die here, this one. Oh, okay, the wrap around. And I, yes, I like the fact I love circles, and I like the fact you've got this cir circle focal point in the middle, and it, it just works really well with these lovely flowers. So I'm going to use that. Um, can I just say, with Marianne Design packaging, they also give you inspiration for other products. So this die here is just this image you don't actually get this one as well yeah. it just gives you a suggestion like with that that other caption i've got it here with this one you don't actually get the mandala just want to say that you just get because it gives you suggestions of, of other sets yeah yes. they work well with yeah okay so i've got a long piece of um it's a4 and i've just chopped a bit off the middle off the bottom rather and it's just over well, it's 15 centimeters deep but that's A4 across there. And what I want to do is I want to score down the middle to create a fold. Because I, I want to cut into the, the front of the card. So that's going to be there. So I'm going to cut that out. And then I'll get this. So you get that circle image there. And then it um, scores the top and bottom, so you can fold that back. Okay. And then I've folded that. So that's my card base now. So that's how I want to use use this. I mean, you could use it like like that that way as well. But I'm going to use this as a bigger card. Okay. What I want to do quickly 
I've got so much to do and so much I want to decorate oh, this we've got week. ages yet, don't worry Have about I? it. <laughs> I just want to add a frame round this. You've got about two minutes. That's not long. No, you haven't, you've got eight. Oh. <laughs> you've got I, eight minutes. If don't I rush. don't finish it, I'll show you what happens. You've got ages yet. OK, I just want to, as this is a nice delicate card, let's get a bit more ink. I just want to create a nice sort of frame, a watercolour frame around the edge and follow it around here as well. So if you lay the water down, then pick up ink, then it all blends in into there. So I've got my What's frame. the first thing you did when you got there? Because you said you've got yourself back into cross stitch. So what was the first thing when uh, Marianne Design sent you the uh, products? What's the first thing you do when you get them home? Um, I, got, I was quite excited about it, so I calmed myself down. <laughs> Add a brew. <laughs> and then thought, oh, well, which one, which one do I like? And um, you know, and I, I started with the the diamond one actually because it, it was quick, it was simple, and I just knew that I could that would be okay in just one colour. So that's what I wanted to try with before I then sort of went into any patterns and designs. I just wanted a quick practice, but I like to use what I'm practicing with as well, yeah, which, good, which I did. Okay, let's stick these down now then, these flowers. A quarter now, a quarter of your one day special has now already gone. Let's get the glue stick out. It's a bit quicker. I'm just gluing the bases of these leaves and adding them. Oh, I don't think a glue stick is used enough in craft. Oh, I absolutely love a glue stick. <laughs> as, as some people probably know. <laughs> yes, I don't think so. I think you are the only demonstrator that uses a glue stick. No, yeah. I can't be. You really? are. Yep. Wow. Wow. I just love it. it, it it's, I love the tackiness of it. It wipes clean if you over glue anything. It wipes clean. It dries clear. It's just, it's just there. It's not too messy. It's just, I just love it. You're a neat right. crafter, though, aren't you, sir? I, oh, I am. Yes, yes, yeah. Where am I going to stick that one? Just pop it there. Okay. Now to decorate the centre. So with these dies here, I've got this one that I really like, but I just want it that little bit bigger. Well, they do have this one. This is another layer. A matted layer but it's just got the stitching on it I wanted something a bit more decorative so what I've done is that I moved on to this die here because I love this frame this is gorgeous this frame and it fits so you they're interchangeable it fits in there perfectly so what I've done is I've picked out a light green and die cut that in this light green color well, that's nice so I'm gonna stick that down I like just sticking to a few colours and um, just have like a colour scheme. So then this one I'm going back to the watercolour card. Okay. Okay, which is here. And look how delicate the edges are. Hey, look Isn't at that, that little scalloped edge. It's really sort of delicate and lacy. It's lovely. And then I'm also going to die cut the caption as well because I think that's lovely and frilly. Um, and it comes out far more delicately than it looks. So I'm going to go for this, pick out this sort of colour and go for this salmon-y colour. And um, look how that comes out. It's beautiful, isn't it? So delicate. It is lovely. It is. I, I, I was watching the telly then for a minute. I, I got lost in your car. Oh. I got lost <laughs> in your demo. Uh, <laughs> I have just been told that we have uh, three and a half minutes left. Great. Uh, officially three and a half this minutes. This is another good thing about a glue stick. You know, you can just pat pat things on the back that are delicate like this. There, well, see, I, well, we were just discussing this, obviously on. it was a one-way conversation, but we were just discussing glue sticks and we were saying um, it's a bit like putting the glue on the back of your hand. Yeah, that yeah, but you don't have to put it on your messy. hand. Yes, yes. Um, another thing I was going to use yeah, is, I'm just going to add a bit more into here, a bit go more on. foliage. Let's do it. Um, so I'm going to, I've got these here these little delicate pieces here. Where have you got them from? Um, I was just trying to think Where have now. you pulled them Where from? Where have I got them from? I don't know. I think it's... Oh, are they from the poinsettia? No. OK. No, I think it's the from... The hellebore? I had it here. I think it's from that other... Are oh. you sure it's not the poinsettia over there, look, the top left? Is it it the, is. is it, is it That's that why bit? I've got it here. It yeah, is. Poinsettia. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. That's all right. These are just gorgeous. 
I just love these. They're so delicate and lovely. So I've cut This is these what it is, look. This is what we're using. Out of the the poinsettia, green. 10 pounds, 99 pence. They're the top three, is what we're using. Uh, from your little poinsettia flower. Let's say uh, how we're adding them on. Do they all work it's together? It's lovely, isn't it? All works together. Yes. I might need to just trim these just to, just to add a little bit more interest. And also, I want to follow round the circle with these as well, just to sort of hug that circle a bit more. So it's not just all about the cross stitch in our one day special. It's a bit of you got a bit of a bit of everything in this hour. We're sort of like mixed media yeah. this hour because you've got a bit of cross stitch, you've got a bit of your normal craft that's in there as well. Maybe you're into your paper craft. You've always wanted to give cross stitch a go, but you thought, no, I'm not really into cross stitch kiss, uh, kits. I can't really do them. I don't really understand the patterns. Well, this one, you're the designer. You can put the crosses wherever you want to put them. And you can just follow, you know, the, the patterns that are there, the, the base patterns, and just, just cross-stitch lines, really. You can just do that. That's fine. That will still look nice. And use it as a background, then. It doesn't yeah, have true. to be the focal point. It can be the background. OK, I want to keep, keep get this finished. And I just want to give it a bit of bling. See, I'm not using the flowers as the focal point. Sort of my lettering is the focal point, but you could just use one flower in there as well. That would make a good focal point. A minute and a half. OK, I've got some nice blingy gems here that I just want to put a few round the edge here just to frame this part here. Details of your warm winter wishes and your deer family. Remember, they do come with the beautiful yeah. deers as well. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Zero two six zero six six is your item number. You're getting the stag, you're getting the deer, and you're also getting the fawn. Okay. Do I want to put one in there? Yeah. Well, go on. Yeah. Let's We've got a minute. That. Go on. Let's do that. And I want to add a bow as well. Oh. So I've got a green organza bow that I want to add. Um, green ribbon here. So I just want to. Just quickly tie a little bow. I'm a bit fiddly with my bows because I like them to look very precise. So I do play around with them a lot. We've got 40 seconds. Where's this hour gone? So I, I, won't, I won't sort of bore you and just play around with the bow, but basically I've created oh. this one. And I think oh, I might ooh, just. We've got 25 pop seconds, so go on, Sue. Let's pop it at the ooh, top. Like a crack a bauble. There, so I think that's. My nice pink and green, which I love these two colours together. It's not going to We've sit. only got 15 seconds left of the <laughs> hour. Sue and myself are back at 8 o'clock tonight. It's beautiful, Sue. It's beautiful. Thank you very much.